Good morning, folks. Today we're going over space weather, taking a closer look at the big CME from yesterday morning's eruption. Then we have five top science articles to kick off the weekend, but we are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. We continued to have impulsive flaring from the departing sunspot group, but it was a much quieter day by comparison. The filaments and Earth-facing sunspots are quiet. Forecast for today is for another relatively quiet stretch. So let's take a moment and jump back to what we saw yesterday morning. The departing spots unleashed that X-class solar flare and the SOHO data is choppy. Some of it is missing, but we can look at the CME and see it was tremendously dense. The central plasma filament of the eruption is luckily going to miss Earth and it is extremely thick, thousands to tens of thousands of protons per cubic centimeter. Let's kick off the science articles with two on solar forcing of weather and climate in China. This one is on the monsoon, one of the most strongly forced components of the atmospheric system, and the other hits the summer temperature variability and how it is also tied to solar activity. China is clearly leading the way in publishing these solar forcing articles. Speaking of solar forcing, this one looks at the electric aspects of the most powerful storms on Earth. Tropical systems, the hurricanes, typhoons, cyclones does a good job breaking down how solar flares, solar wind, and cosmic rays directly impact the electrical phenomena that form and intensify these largest storms on Earth. Very solid work there. As a complement to the concept coming from the other side, we have an excellent preprint that questions the validity of using CO2 as a climate forcing and predictive statistic. This debunking of the mainstream narrative is as important as the discovery of the real forcing vectors based on the sun. Last but not least, they speak in long geologic terms, but it's hard not to read this as an upcoming aspect of the Earth disaster cycle. They say that the next continental breakup and new subduction zone will propagate from the Gibraltar Arc. They say this will rock the Atlantic Ocean region, and hopefully it is a long way off, but with the knowledge of what's coming in the great cyclical disaster on its way in the coming couple decades, going to be hard to get this one out of my mind. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.